Hi people, this was Christian Herrera again and I was uh, inside working you know, I went out to the car to do this video and um, this is my third video today I think, but it doesn't matter I will clip, I will make a cut with one video that talk about uh, about my thoughts on the coronavirus and fear but while I was working I started to think about um, uh, what will happen with the markets and the, the economical um, uh, aftermath after this. What's going to happen? Uh, I've been working with internet marketing for many years, uh, and the internet. Uh, I started with SEO, and then after that, I was more int interested in the strategies uh, that how to steer the market your way using search engines and using um, um, digital communications and <clears throat> the development I've seen for, for many years now I mean I predicted social media long before it was a thing and uh, uh, the thing is that today uh, the, cons the consumer is much more aware than they were before uh, the salesperson's job is not anymore to um, inform the person about the product in the same way as I, uh, before because now a person he, he has a need and they start to um, actually um, before they go to the store to uh, to buy their things they do the research by themselves and, and they start comparing products uh, already on the internet at, at home and at, at home and <coughs> Many of us also start to to research prices, which is the best place to buy, um, and even uh, online deliveries in many places. Uh, I've been doing this, for instance. I like to repair my own cars. I like old. I like to have old cars. Right now, I'm driving an, an old Prius. It has its problem, but I buy all my cars by car parts from uh, from Germany because it's a third of the price if I buy them from Sweden. And I get them delivered and everything. It's, it's, it's all okay. But many people don't do that yet. And I think that uh, this Corona... Uh, and I think that's the, that this uh, Corona outbreak will actually open the eyes for many people that don't uh, know about home deliveries. They don't know about buying stuff online. They don't know about buying car parts online because many people now are scared to go out and uh, they're going to stay at home and uh, they're closing down it like in italy they closed down they're closing down universities they're closing down um, uh, public places i mean people don't go to the restaurants and, and the same in the same way um, and all of this <laughs> so i mean the restaurant business um, this is going to take a hit but I think that is going to grow up again because we people are social we want to go to restaurants we want to go to bars we want to meet each other so I think that business is safe for the aftermath but like here in Sweden I seen a lot of uh, of uh, businesses going bankrupt uh, especially in the retail business um, and that's because people are buying online and um, it's about this international market people will buy from all over I mean there's the big producers in China anyways but uh, still mm -hmm. we buy from from many different countries I mean I, I used to buy from Germany Great Britain uh, pro, the big the, the big uh, how do you say in Sweden yeah, the big break for this, I mean, not break, it's what's been breaking the market for the online, uh, uh, for, the, for buying stuff online, is the um, prices for deliveries, because uh, we are in a very, how can, how can I say, we are in a part of the world that's very distant from the rest of the world, so deliveries from Great Britain hasn't been worth the price, and delivered from Germany and but when you get that into the masses and more people start to um, buy the products online and I want them delivered to them, 
I think that a lot of people that go to self-isolation or or we get get a, a break, a big lockdown or anything. I think that the online market and the online, um, I mean, online delivery is going to grow exponentially because more and more people are going to open their eyes for it. Um, I started since I've been working online since early shit early 90s something yeah I started as a programmer a web programmer in the early 90s and then I started university yeah. <clears throat> and then after that I started with internet marketing uh, so I've, I've been buying online for a long time but I've seen people opening their eyes for this uh, like the f latest five years and there's still some people that are uh, reluctant to this so I think that people that uh, haven't opened their eyes to this uh, ain't aware that they can buy uh, deli buy home delivery with food and groceries and uh, and all of this and even clothing I think they will open their eyes for that and uh, actually get accustomed to it so I think that the online business is going to grow a lot after this uh, corona infection i mean economy i mean of course the economy is going to take a hit now obviously but economy is still economy people still need stuff people still need stuff to survive people still still, still need uh, groceries they need clothing they need parts for their cars they need you know everything so I think that's going to grow. It's going to grow exponentially. And uh, we're going to see a lot of um, concush. Uh, how, how do you say that in English? When a company goes broke, it's called... Uh, it doesn't matter. You get my point. So we're going to see in the retail business, we're going to see a lot of business that go bankrupt. A lot of businesses that go, go bankrupt. But the ones that take the business online are actually going to grow of this. If you can handle the deliveries in a good way and even the, and the, in the, <coughs> how do you say in, in English? In Swedish we say, Ischölvattnet. It's like when the, the keel water, you know, when the boats. Yeah, so, so in the keel water of this, we're going to see an expansion in the um, uh, transport industry. That's my prediction. Uh, I actually, I'm sorry if I seem excited, but but it, this is a, a prediction I have seen for many years. I have seen this going this way for many many years, almost a decade or maybe two decades. But I think that this outbreak is only going to cement and fast forward this um, this development uh, because and uh, as I said I have been working with internet marketing I started with a C I started as a programmer I, then I was work with a CEO after that I went to the digital marketing and now I'm I'm working more with the, you know some kind of business um, business the de like internet business development I can say, digital development or something I don't know how to call that. I call it in English, in Swedish, I call it digital uh, uh digital business development. And I mean, that is much bigger than just uh, the marketing side. It's also about uh, how you digitalize your products. But I don't take in that. I, I use people for that, for that part. But uh, I work with the marketing side, how to, how to get uh, the hold of people, how to get people to buy. Um, analytics, statistics. Uh, how do you trigger a person to to actually do what you want? So, my prediction is that uh, this outbreak, this now that we get aware of how fragile we actually are, I think this this is going to people are going to open their eyes to this, and uh, a lot of people are going to get accustomed to it. They're going to notice how comfortable it is to see <coughs> see the stuff you want to buy, look for the price online, 
and uh, it's not only the price uh, does the provider seem uh, reputable or uh, do they look serious or is it an unserious business so you're going to see more of that and uh, people are going to compare prices online and uh, actually buy more online i mean this has been something that's been going on for many years but i think this will just be like a, a catalyst for that development and actually bring this up to older generations i mean now i am in my early 40s uh, but I th i'm thinking about generations that in the 60s or in the 50s yeah, 60s they're not fully aware of this and the grandchildren shouldn't want to teach them this that you can buy online i think this will only be a catalyst and just expand the online business and even in um, in social groups that are not so much online buying stuff. That's my prediction. Uh, it's not a good news. It's not bad news. It's just a prediction. Uh, if you agree, please leave a comment. If you don't agree, please leave a comment and explain why. Because I really want to... I really would like to hear other people's view on this and how they think about this because now everybody's talking about yeah this is going to trigger depression it's going to trigger depression but I also see that this is going to open the ways for online businesses and open the ways for new businesses and people are going to get accustomed to how comfortable it is to really get your stuff online and uh, yeah that's just a prediction Tell me what you think. Thank you. Bye.